So gut dysbiosis essentially means imbalance in the gut, right? So antibiotics, definitely a big one. Mm -hmm. It kills not only the bad guys, but it kills mostly just everything that's in your gut, all the bacteria. So it's not selective, right? So it kills the good, it kills the neutral, it kills the bad. It's almost like a nuclear bomb went off inside your gut. And then after the antibiotics, you're trying to piece together the leftover pieces so that you built up a better ecosystem. But that's really hard. So whenever people take antibiotics, I always recommend people to take some probiotics, not exactly at the same time. You do want to stagger it by about two to three hours with the medication itself, but you do still want to protect the good bacteria by supplementation in some ways. And of course, we can get into the nuances about the strains that we can uh, recommend during that course. So antibiotics is one. Uh, and there are other types of medications too that we commonly use that we may not think about. So NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications so, so, such as ibuprofen, Advil, naproxen, Aleve, some of these things, they can also damage the gut lining as well, mm. right? There are other medications like proton pump inhibitors, like pentoprazole, meprazole, Nexium, some of these things. And that those medications people s sometimes take and they're on it for years at a time uh, because of acid reflux. And those medications decrease mm. the acidity of your stomach to prevent the reflux symptoms. But our digestive system is naturally in an acidic environment and the good bacteria thrives in an acidic environment. And so if we change the pH to become more basic by taking these medications, you're actually changing the environment so the good bacteria are not living as well and you're promoting more of the bad bacteria. So when people are on chronic proton pump inhibitors like pentoprazole and these things, for a long, long time, they're at risk of certain types of infections, more likely to get pneumonia, for example, and they are also more likely to get certain deficiencies mm -hmm. in, say, magnesium, et cetera, right? So it actually impairs absorption because we're changing the bacteria population, you know? So medications is one category. Stress, chronic stress is another category that sometimes we overlook, especially in our mm -hmm. busy lives where everybody is always busy, working, stressed, et cetera. Short-term stress, it's fine. When I say short-term, something that lasts like you know hours to maybe a couple of days, 